hot minute power. We got lights. Oh, there's a guy's knife. How's everybody doing? Is it fucking hot enough for you? Got some new cheaters too. I kind of like them. So, hope everybody had a good uh, Independence Day. Not 4th of July. That's a date. Farmer was all sorts of wound up and butthurt about that. Which I'm right there with him. It's not a date. You know, it's a fucking holiday. You know, remember that one time a bunch of feathers wrote down, you know, said fuck off to Britain and all that shit. You, got, you, you guys know. So, anywho's, guy's been kind of busy. Had a wedding and shit last weekend. Had family over, you know, for the, the, the Independence Day celebrations and whatnot. No fireworks. We can't get any in New York that are worth the shit anyway, so, you know. Yeah. Oh, got you right on the phone, too. Gonna have to clean that up. Mmm. Good shit. But the big thing is, which a lot of, I'm sure. Hold on. Digging out the smokes. Yeah. You know, I don't want to, like, you know, rub shit in y'all's eye or whatever, but I know, you know, a lot of you farming fellers and fellettes out there have probably already heard, you know, what John Deere's doing now. And, I mean, I'm not surprised. I'm waiting for, I mean, fuck all night. Is, is Harley Davidson next? You know, Ford, Chevrolet, whatever. I mean, did they not learn? I guess they didn't care to learn. That's the problem with these fucking... These piece of shit CEOs. And let's not forget really the reason why this shit happens is because of BlackRock and the shareholders and, you know, the stock market. That's why you get the Dylan Voldowney, whatever the fuck it was from Budweiser, which Budweiser has recuperated a little bit. You know, now they're now they're in bed with uh, the UFC, which, hey, whatever. You know, they're trying to, like, you know, come back. Tractor Supply. Just recently said fuck off to the woke agenda and says, you know what, we're not doing that. Because why? Their stocks went in the fucking toilet. I don't know if they're in bed with BlackRock or not, but you know. But at any rate, for those of you that might be wondering. What John by the deer is actually supporting now. Like what? what's on the list. And uh, I took a little screenshot off the off the, the Twitter for you know or X formerly known as the Twitter. So uh, they're funding Pride events for kids as young as three years old because that's where three year olds need to fucking be. Uh, the gender bread man training for all their employees. I seen a little video clip of it and it's it's disturbing. I, I don't I, I don't get it. But whatever. Uh, they ask employees to list their preferred pronouns on all communications. So on your email and, you know, I'm assuming like on your fucking door if you have an office or whatever at corporate, you know. He, him, they, them, fucking Zzer, Badger, Gaby, Verder, pretend time. It's all about pretending. Because, you know. Here's one that really should disturb all of y'all. Is Bill Gates is listed as their largest shareholder. Hmm. Weird. Also, I've I've heard and, and, and known for a while that Bill Gates also is the largest farmland owner in, in America, probably second to China. I'm sure that's fine. There's nothing to worry about with that, right? Right? Sure, sure. John Deere celebrated their accounting and finance team taking United Way's 21 Day United for Equity program. I don't even know what the fuck that is, but United for Equity, mm, no. Uh, when did when I when I did Unified for Equity program, it promoted Ibram Kenda, the woke children's book, anti-racist baby, awake to woke to work, a podcast on the concept of whiteness, woke activist Robin D'Angelo. Bigotry against Christians who supposedly have Christian privilege. And more. The woke policies have spread across the global John Deere brand with many of the their DEI policies also being forced on their Latin American and Indi, India branches. So, it's not just here. It's everywhere, which I would like to see 
how the other, by the way, we should file that in the right fucking spot. What are they going to learn? I mean, I mean, this is just new. You know, I've seen this on the Benny Johnson, you know, YouTube channel, whatever. I literally sent that, that video to Farmer to see what his thoughts were. I didn't get a response yet. But, um, I mean, it's just fucking dumb. It's dumb. I feel sad for the, the employees that really don't give a fuck. They're just, you know, they just want to go to work. You know, they're working for John Deere, you know. The, the largest farming farming equipment you know company in America I would say at this moment and now they gotta deal with this fucking horse shit good job John Deere your your fucking CEO is a cuck and a piece of shit so yeah in case y'all didn't know why or what what their what their new agenda is I figured I'd give you a little heads up on that one uh, guy's been busier than a freaking cat bearing shit in the sandbox here lately. That's why I haven't done any. Uh, well, last week we had the you know whole Independence Day thing, and then I had a wedding to go to, so no live stream then. I gotta get the air conditioner in here because I'm telling you what, right now it's fucking hot. It's a little tepid in here, not terrible. I'm surprised because you know the guy does have it insulated, but it is not. It's not comfy. So, gotta get that squared away real soon, like. And I gotta get real. Will someone in the comments help a guy out and tell me what to buy? So I have a, a good router indoors with banging fucking internet. But anytime I get, you know, I, I bought this fancy fucking internet fucking repeater thing. That didn't work. Had some antenna thing. That didn't work. If one of you guys out there know what the hell I'm supposed to buy to get, you know, legit fucking, you know, good internet out here, that'd be cool. Then we can do more live streams, because right now I have to have the fucking door open to do a live stream so I can bang off the interwebs on the inside house, and then even sometimes that gets a little, a little sketchy, you know? So, because, you know, a guy built all this with, with some of y'all's help, you know, to do stuff and things out here, and a guy, you know, I can't. Pisses me off. So, if you got a line on something, let me know. Mm. By the way, I got this cool new... Let me prop you up here. Yeah. Got that from buddy of mine's daughter over the, over the, over the weekend. And I asked me this cool bracelet, too. Company colors slash Harley Davidson colors. So, you can't, you know, just can't go wrong with black and orange. So, I had to get a little shout out to Taylor. Appreciate you, sweetheart. If you're watching, I don't know. You probably shouldn't because it's, you know, this isn't for children, but she watches Uncle Jimmy screaming in the phone about bullshit. So at least she's informed when she goes to school. So there's that. I'm going to be home. So we'll try to do, we'll try to do a live stream maybe this Friday. I'll just throw it out there, out there right now. Keep your eyes peeled. For this Friday at 7 Eastern, just a little, maybe a little hour, you know, get together with you folks because it's been a while. Oh, by the way, um, you might see it, you might not see it, but I, I, I put a little, I put a 45 at the end of the channel. So we got Lions Den 45. We all know about 45. The best president in my lifetime. Or, you know, fight me in the comments if you want. But at any rate, uh, had a bunch, you know, hey, there, you know, that's the name of a porn store in Ohio. Yeah, I know. I know. So, and that and when I go to even search out my own channel, it's some black girl doing her nails on the Lion's Den. So you guys might have the same problem or whatever. So I put the, the Lion's Den 45. There we go. Hopefully that might simplify things, make it easier for folks. I don't know. Tell your friends. Guys, up to 3,526 of y'all that subscribed and watched, whatever, appreciate you. I just want to come out and not so much rant, but just, you know, let you guys know what John Deere's up to. And it's probably going to be no good for them. I'm glad I don't have stock in John Deere. Because they're fucking dumb. 
because if you go backwards a little bit and look at tractor supplies, whew, tractor supply and I think it was Target too. I don't even know if Target's still doing their woke bullshit with their fucking, with a rainbow fucking bright color bullshit, whatever. Oh, one more thing that my oldest son showed me this evening. If you have younger children, like grandkids, or if you have younger kids or whatever, don't be watching that Nickelodeon shit. They got straight up fucking, pro it's, it's disgusting. You know, like I don't care what you want to do behind closed doors with whoever in your bedroom. Fine. Go ahead. Do that. Don't care. But I really don't believe that you need a month of flag. You know, you have every fucking right that the rest of us have in this great fucking country. Shut the fuck up already. I don't want to fucking hear it. Because when they say, ah, we're not going after your children, then why the fuck is there a TV show on Nickelodeon that is clearly fucking made to go after single-digit children? You are disgusting and should be canceled. Nickelodeon should be canceled. John Deere, unfortunately, will probably feel, you know, feel the wrath of this bullshit because obviously they don't care about their base, which they don't because they're probably hemmed up with BlackRock because of their, you know, their stock bullshit. Look into that. They're the ones that tell the, they're the ones that told Bud Light that hey, you're going to have to get down with the DEI shit. And I guarantee they're probably the same ones that told John Deere, you know, told John Deere CEO, hey, you need to get down with this DEI, DEI and all this woke agenda garbage until the stocks start to fucking plummet or whatever. I don't, I don't understand why they do it. I, I don't know. I mean, all I know is John Deere's probably going to fucking tank as far as stocks go here pretty soon. And it's unfortunate because I guarantee there's a lot of great people that work for that company. And unfortunately, they have to, you know, like I said earlier, they're going to have to fucking, you know, use their pronouns in the emails and shit. I mean, I got a customer that does that sells HVAC stuff and they, he's been having to do that for the last couple of years. It's retarded. Why do I, why do I gotta give him my fucking pronoun? The fuck is a pronoun? If you can't tell him a fucking dude, then you, you are retarded. If you can't tell what a person is, that person is mentally disabled in one way or another. Fight me in the comments again or whatever. I don't know. Shit's going to hell in the handbasket. Did we? I don't know if we talked about. Maybe we'll we'll save that for for this Friday or whatever. I definitely gotta get the air conditioning going in there before Friday. Though. Holy shit, it's warm out here. But um, I appreciate you all watching. Figured I'd give you a little heads up on the on the Mister John by the deer and what they're doing. And uh, we'll uh, we'll reconvene. Let's just semi plan on it. Let's reconvene this this Friday, say around. 7 Eastern or so. I don't know if I'm going to be out here for two hours yapping, whatever. Hopefully I got some internet because, uh, like I said, I got to keep the door open. So somebody, you know, drop a link in the comments of, of some sort of product that works so I can have, you know, good internet out here. That'd be much appreciated. Until then, we'll talk to you all real soon. We'll see.